Hello, John aka Chicken Fillets here. Now there's a current trend on YouTube at the moment which is talking about GRPGs that need remakes, games which need remakes. But I want to flip it on the head today and look at GRPGs that do not need a remake. So yes, with that in mind, let's have a look at five JRPGs that do not need a remake. Now, if you like what you're hearing and seeing on the channel and like listening to a wee Scottish guy talking about JRPGs, well, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get cracking on. The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, which was originally released in Japan in 2004, and then received a Western release back in 2011. Now, the first entry in the Trail series, we follow Estelle and Joshua, who are training to become senior bracers and they get involved in stopping a major coup against the monarchy. Now, with this being both a Trails game and a Falcon game, you'll know with this publisher that you will be in for a hell of a time with the story, fantastic characters, amazing combat and a beautiful soundtrack. Now with this being an older JRPG, we're thinking, well, yeah, this could get a remake, so why not? Now my reason for not wanting this JRPG to get a remake, well, it's quite simply down to previous entries that we had released in the West last year and the year previous in the form of Trails to Zero and Trails to Azure. What was done with these releases is that they brought the original games over to the West. Yes, there was some quality of life improvements done to the game, and that's fine by my hand, but that to me doesn't constitute a remake. Because the Trails series has such a strong story, strong set of characters, and with Trails in the Sky being one of the fan favourite arcs of the Trails series, well, do we really need a remake? No, I think we just need the original ported to newer systems. Final Fantasy IV, a SNES classic which was originally released all the way back in 1991. In this JRPG classic, we follow Cecil in his journey to, from becoming a Dark Knight into a Light Paladin. And in this entry in Final Fantasy, we really started to see the storytelling increase compared to the three previous entries. This game also saw the arrival of the ATB battle system which was used in many more entries within Final Fantasy. Now the question here is, well, why does this game not deserve a remake? Well, here are the reasons why. It's quite simply down to oversaturation for me on this topic. So for example, Final Fantasy IV has already had a PSP remake, so this was called Final Fantasy IV The After Years, which gave you more content, and then you got the 3D remake which was released for the Nintendo DS, which got later ported to PC. And then, not long after that, we have had the Pixel remasters. In my eyes, if you want a remake for this, you already have it. You have it in the 3D version. It just needs multiple ports to different consoles. There is so many different ways to play this Final Fantasy title. I really do not think, as much as I like Final Fantasy IV, that it, it does not need a remake. But if you think it does, well, let me know in the comments down below. Earthbound, the cult classic JRPG, which originally released in Japan in 94 and then was released in North America in 1995, and for us in the PAL region, we didn't get this for a very, very long time. Now in this JRPG classic, it's up to Ness and his companions to save the world from Gygus. This highly influential JRPG inspired the likes of Undertale, we know that Undertale is an utter classic. Now I have made the argument before that Earthbound should get a remake in the likes of an HD 2D style to make this game more available, but should this game actually get a full-on remake? Well, here's the reasons why it shouldn't. For a game which originally released back on the SNES, well, this game still stands very nicely. And its whole charm around the game, the humour, the artwork, etc. Could this be diluted if it was remade? What the real focus for Nintendo should be with this game is actually releasing it properly and not hiding it behind a paid subscription with Nintendo Switch Online. 
People want to play this JRPG classic. They know the influence. They see it on YouTube videos and people want to play it. The game doesn't need a remake. It just needs to be available. Persona 4 Golden, the JRPG PS2 masterpiece from Atlas, which then got a later re-release on the PS Vita known as Persona 4 Golden. This would later get ported to the likes of Nintendo Switch, to the Xbox and to PC. We play as a high school student who has moved to the small town of Inaba, and it's up to him and his companions to find the mystery killer who is causing havoc to the small town of Inaba. Now Persona 4 Golden is highly rumoured to be getting a remake treatment similar to the likes of Persona 3 Reload. Now this could actually be a good thing, but we are talking about JRPGs that do not need a remake. Now Persona 4 Golden is actually one of my all-time favourite JRPGs, so this has a special place in my heart. I personally feel that Persona 4 Golden really stands the test of time and it doesn't need any more changes to it. The worry for me here is Atlas do an Atlas. They release the base game for Persona 4 and then they tie the Golden section into, well, an expansion pass. So they're not even releasing the full game. And yes, Atlas do a fantastic job when it comes to the remake. I mean, look at Persona 3 Reload. The UIs are fantastic and it's really updated everything. That is my worry though. Would we get a remake and not actually get the full experience? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, before we get on to the final pick of this list, well, let's have a look at some honourable mentions. Fire Emblem Awakening, the 3DS title which essentially saved the Fire Emblem series. When it comes to tactical JRPGs, this is a masterclass above the rest. Now, although there's never been talks of a remake for this JRPG, I honestly believe that this game does not need a remake at all. I think it is fantastic the way it is. Unlike similar entries to this list, it just needs ported to newer systems. Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness. Now, I don't even need to speak about this one. I will get Luca from Fieto Gaming to do the piece for me. You know what I think of this game? I'll show you. God damn it, this game is Chrono Trigger, the JRPG masterpiece released back on the SNES in 1995 by the Dream Team featuring Horonobu Sakaguchi, Yuji Hori, and Akira Toriyama. Now in this we follow Chrono in a time-travelling adventure with a turn-based battle system which has influenced many many games up until most recently Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Too many, this JRPG is the masterpiece JRPG and nothing can beat it. And there was a highly rumoured remake was on the horizon, but this hasn't come to fruition yet. So does this game need a remake? Again, similar to other entries in this, I feel that this game just needs ported. For such an influential GRPG, this game is really hard to get your hands on in certain parts of the world. So for example, for myself, if I want to play Chrono Trigger on the DS, well, I'd have to look at shelling out £90. And unfortunately for myself as well, I don't have a PC for PC gaming, so I can't play it via that means either. And I would have liked to think by now that Nintendo would have been able to get this on the Nintendo Switch, but we are still at a point where we do not have this. If you remake this game as well, you would be at a point where you could ruin this masterpiece and you do not want to do that. Now talking as someone whose favourite game of all time is Final Fantasy VII, I embraced the remake as well because unfortunately for Final Fantasy VII, that game did not age well. Chrono Trigger, however, has aged like a fine wine. So there we have it. 
five JRPGs that do not need a remake. What JRPGs do you think do not need a remake? Well, let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you like what you're hearing and seeing on the channel, well, please help me grow it by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you want to be kept up to date with everything Chicken Fillets, well, hit that notification bell. This has been John, aka Chicken Fillets, and until next time, ta-ta-bye!